Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant, and welcome back to the channel. We're talking Thursday flipping. I know you're like, whoa, Nate, this market is dead. Can we really Thursday flip this week with a lot of unknowns upcoming? We got a new team of the week today. We'll talk about that. It's potentially going to be one of the best ones we've ever seen, according to the rumors. And dare I say it, maybe a little bit of leaks as well. I'm not sure if they're legit leaks, but some people have mentioned some big names for potential team of the week. Today. So we'll talk about that a little bit, see how that could impact the market, of course. Road to the final stuff's going nuts right now. We got games going on, market movements along those cards. Tuesday, yesterday was actually kind of a chill day in terms of the cards that moved. There wasn't a lot of fluctuation um, just because there weren't actually that many uh, road to the final cards that were even like playing yesterday, like on the market, because of course, Atletico, I've got Oblak, you've got Davies and Alaba from the Bayern Munich squad. But then you really don't have nobody from Chelsea that's on the market. So, um, and nobody from Lazio either because Correa was an uh, objective. So, yeah, the uh, road to the final cards, more movements on those probably today on uh, Wednesday and also tomorrow on Thursday. We just completed another flip. It was another Kimmich. GG's. But that's one thing we'll talk about today. Team of the group stage items, people still think that they're alive. You, the proof is in the pudding. I'll show you in a second. But another thing I want to mention really fast, you'll notice some like the G Fuel right up here behind me. TFA, right there, is now sponsored by G Fuel. I don't know if you guys like G Fuel at all, but it's a pretty dope product. Uh, you can out-snipe shortfoots if you drink G Fuel before playing FIFA. Just kidding. But if you're interested in that at all, uh, I am partnered with them, and the link is down below in the description where you can get 30% off uh, of your order of G Fuel. So that's pretty freaking dope. Anyways, let's talk about Thursday flippings by starting off with a little team of the week prediction. Now, there's some big names in here. And this prediction, honestly, the, the flipping prediction is very different than the foothead prediction and some other names that have been thrown in there as well from what I've been hearing. But guys like Holland, Kante, Handanovic, or Handanovic actually should be in. That's almost not a guarantee, but it's honestly going to be almost confirmed, right? Handanovic is in both predictions. We've got Sancho, Casemiro in the foothead prediction as well. Uh, you've got some pretty solid cards that could be in this week's Team of the Week. Other names that have been thrown out there, Cristiano Ronaldo, Marcus Rashford, right? So Conte, Rashford, Ronaldo, Holland, Handanovic, uh, Sancho, of course, in this prediction. So a lot of big names. This Team of the Week, depending on how EA want to juice it, could be pretty cracked. So we'll have to see what happens today. Now, does that impact the market at all? Honestly, I don't think it impacts the market that much because... What people are doing right now in this game are they're either not playing because they're just not excited about what's going on or uh, they are doing icon swaps, objectives, other, you know, like the Future Stars Academy players that are still available in the game. So right now, it's a lot of nothing going on. Now, I'm trying to flip some cards and even the market's pretty dead. Not a lot of cards are even moving that much. Now, I'm trying to flip these guys and make a little bit of a profit here and there. But as we talk about Thursday flips... We have to really think about, is Thursday Flips going to work this week? Is there enough demand uh, for cards to actually go up? What are people going to buy this week? What's going to make cards rise? And I also just want to talk about what the market, you know, we can, we've can we been able to tell that the past couple of weeks that this thing has really been kind of slowing down. Just because you've seen Friday nights, the market really has not gone up much on Friday nights. And that just goes to show where the hype is in the game right now. Um, but I do want to talk through some cards this week that I do think will do pretty well. Um, and honestly, um, just areas of the market to watch for it because the areas of the market that you want to be involved in are the areas that people have their eyes on, right? Upgradable cards like Road to the Finals, that's gonna be a big piece of the puzzle. Now, of course, if we have potential winter upgrades coming this Friday with whatever promo, you have rumors about this what if promo, you got rumors about Carnival, you got rumors about just about everything on the market right now. Uh, I wanna talk through what cards people might have their eyes on that could be Thursday flips slash investments for later this weekend, uh, and also, just kind of reiterate the point that a lot of times the highest point on the market for a lot of these out of pack special cards is actually Thursday nights, even with a promo coming like last week, not really a promo with icon swaps or icon moments, but we knew that icon swaps were coming and still most of the market was at its highest on Thursday night. Some cards even were higher Thursday night than they were on Friday night, which is crazy, right? That usually does not happen. So I want to talk about that and I talk about icons as well, because I think in the second half of this week, you're going to see more icon movements. But for Thursday flipping investments, right? We are kind of looking at again, out of packs cards. Look at some of these ones, you know, honestly, the cards that get overlooked 
have been doing really well recently. Take a look at these guys that are on the bottom of the flipping page here. Linez, Diego Dalo, and Estupinan. These guys were really cheap as foot future stars item. This Dalo, he's up to 47. He's actually up like 10K a card. GG's if you got it. That's 8K after tax because, of course, low tax down here. Linez was in the mid-20s. Estupinan was in the low 20s as well. So a lot of these cards are starting to rise up. Bastoni is up. Newhouse is down from where he was. He's probably going to bounce back. Anthony bounces around. David is up. Ruben Diaz is up. So these foot future stars items, if you are seeing panic on them, team two more so than team one has had kind of a better rise. Now, some team one cards move around too. Vergwan was 820 today. He's back to 875. We knew he was going to bounce back. Harvey Barnes was like 419 earlier today. He was 490 last Thursday night when the market was really high over uh, because of weekend league demand or before weekend league. Um, so some of these cards that are out of packs that are the brand new squad players, right? Future stars are still pretty new to FIFA. Even this past team of the week wasn't very hyped, but you're seeing some of these cards rise out of packs because it was a rare team of the week. Stuff that I would look for this week, honestly, um, would be cards... And this is what I was talking about before, cards that could potentially be getting upgrades for winter refresh that are also meta. When you have, especially when the market is kind of quiet and dead like this, when you have cards that you can invest in for multiple reasons that could cover multiple bases, I'm a big fan of that, right? Joao Felix, right? A lot of people like to use this card in this game of FIFA. His inform right now is 84 rated. He is due a winter upgrade. And he right now, I think it's like in the mid 90s. This guy in the mid to low 90s on both consoles, I believe he's about the same price, is 100% a buy for me because this card, if he does get a winter upgrade, his gold card would be an 83, which could then possibly push this, push this 84 rated card to an 86, depending on the stats and if they do winter upgrade. So this is a card that rises almost every week anyway, it usually goes up about 10K. Uh, so if you can snag this for, you know, around the range of like low to mid 90s, open bids are gonna be your best friend for Thursday flips this week. Uh, that's a card that you can kind of invest in for a potential winter upgrade as well. Same thing with Bruno Fernandez, right? Bruno Fernandez informs, his first inform, like 470, I think, is where you kind of want to get it. If you can, you know, he's pretty rare. That second inform, 89 rated Bruno. I compare price in this card all the time. Um, and he usually, if you can get him at like 620K, he even fluctuates every day to like 670,000 coins. This might go to a 90 rated card with winter upgrades. So again, not saying that that promo is coming, but as the hype builds and as we get closer to Friday, a lot of people are kind of expecting winter upgrades. So if you can find cards that um, are potential upgradable items, that could be a big place to look. Even links to the objective players, right? I like this Pogba card, this 88 rated Pogba is like the best value for coins Pogba in the game. Uh, and he was down at 400,000 coins flat. I should have bought that. This guy around 400K, 410, is gonna be a great sell this weekend, probably in like the 440 range. You can see there's a lot of cards listed there. He gets lazy bought a lot, but also he gets listed up crazy cheap a lot because it's kind of hard to find this card. So both versions of Inform Pogba, I think could be pretty good this week. And of course, your really rare out of pack special cards that uh, that fluctuate almost every week anyway. You, you know, I talk about like that Inform Zaha all the time. You know those guys, uh, Inform Zaha, this Jamie Vardy, Record Breakers, the cards that are just too rare for their own good that fluctuate on the daily and fluctuate a little bit more uh, on the weekends should be pretty good investments as well. Now, of course, I think there's a rumor for Bernardo Silva being in Team of the Week, which is why this freeze card is a little bit lower, I believe. Um, but again, as I mentioned, some of the links to the objective players, you can look at guys like Sancho, you look at guys like Rule Breaker, Douglas Costa. I would like Sancho better than Douglas Costa because this guy links to Renier, of course, but this guy really just doesn't move. He really just doesn't move, right? He, I think he's at 350,000 coins at the moment, maybe in the 340s. But this guy just doesn't move as much as you would think he would with the Brazilian Bayern links. Now, maybe if Bayern continued to play well, they just won today in Champions League, maybe a card like that move up a little more. But again, as you're focusing on Thursday flips this week, I like cards that have multiple informs uh, because you can sell them to lazy buyers. That's like another, uh, it's like a third thing, right? Possible winner upgrade, meta card that rises every week, potential to sell the lazy buyers for like second and third informs. Lozano and Jamie Vardy, this Bamba are, are great options for that as well because they're just harder to find on the game, which means you could potentially get some of those lazy sales. So um, that's kind of some of the stuff that I would look for this week. Now, buy time for this stuff, I would be looking into like today, 
Um, see if there's any sort of loading screen or content drop that drops prices on the market. Because again, when people start to invest for Thursday flips, you'll start to see price card prices go up and you need to get in before, right? I was talking about this with Chris, another uh, trader, uh, about Thursday flips and, and like the timing of it when you get in. A lot of times Thursday flipping this year has not been that good. There's been a couple cards that have risen up pretty well um, or you know, every week there's a couple cards that do pretty well. But honestly, the name of the game is getting in on most cards before everybody else does so that they invest, the card kind of jumps up a decent amount and then the card goes up a little bit more. Everybody else who bought, they're not really selling for much of a profit, but you, you watch that card get bought up after you buy it, it goes up a little bit more with the actual demand for the weekend league, which is why Thursday rewards flipping works. And then you sell that card for that price and you make that little bit extra profit and then it becomes a good trade. So it's all about timing. And right now I don't feel like we've seen a lot of cards rise up yet for like a Thursday flip investment. It also might be because this market in this game is pretty kind of, I guess, dead at the moment. So definitely keep an eye out for that. If we don't see any content today on Wednesday, there's been some cards that have trickled up a little bit. I do want to go back and mention that a couple cards have started to trickle upwards in price, but not a crazy amount, right? Not a lot. And again, you want to focus on your meta links like this Griezmann's 172, but I literally sold one a couple hours ago for 190,000 coins. That's again, a secondary inform card, a French left wing player, popular Griezmann, right? Barcelona links. Um, you know, if I find this guy at 172K again, I'm probably going to buy it because it looks like that might've been some sort of an undercut. And you know, uh, he looks to sell around 190,000 coins a lot of the time. When you find undercuts like this, you just take advantage of them. You don't ask questions and you relist the card where you know that he sells, where you find open bids like this one at 150. Hopefully that expires before I post this video so that nobody else can outbid me on it. <laughs> but uh, that's the kind of stuff that I would be looking for this week in terms of when you're actually looking for cards. Some of the ones that could get winter upgrades uh, might be a decent shout. Some of them are already inflated, this Shenman Sun. Again, I do want to mention this. Winter upgrades are not confirmed, right? 100% not confirmed. We do not know that winter upgrades are coming. That's a 358 is an undercut there on Sun. But this market's so dead right now, I really don't want to even try and flip that because I'm not sure if I'll get a sell at 379,000 coins where I would un undercut this by 1K and make a small profit. It's not even really worth it to me at the moment. So just be careful what you're flipping this week. Honestly, icons might be one of the safest routes to go. Some of the base icons or middle icons that are now out of packs that we see move on the weekly. Meta cards, good le good links, um, popular players, good nations, like maybe this Makalele card. Of course, the higher the price the icon uh, it is, the more you need to fluctuate. 628 for Makalele. I'm going to take a look at that right now because that seems kind of cheap. That game seems kind of cheap, which actually it is not. Anyways, uh, when you're looking for stuff this week, also with the icons, the babies and middles, just kind of remember that icons in general have more moments coming out this weekend, so that can impact their prices. But for a sell time, right? Let's say we get a loading screen. I'm not, I'm not expecting big time content this week. I know we don't have extra weekly player picks, but if we're talking about a sell time, I think you're gonna hold off. You're gonna hold through 6 p.m. content on Thursday. And you're going to sell later into the night, Thursday night into Friday when stuff gets, just gets really, really rare. And also, I'll mention this too. When you're looking for things to buy this week for flips, make sure you look through stuff that is just rare in general, right? Some cards are just more rare on this game. Like this 89 Bruno Fernandez is always just very, very rare. And all it takes is a couple people in the world to want to buy this card for their team. And boom, this guy can shoot up 20, 30, 40,000 coins in an hour. Same thing with Vardy, right? So it's all about the rarity with a lot of these cards, which is why I like Rule Breakers, the Team of the Year Honorable Mention cards are fantastic to trade with, right? They have great, great, great fluctuations. This Griezmann card is pretty rare. This last week's Team of the Week is going to be a fantastic one to trade with because it's really rare. So rarity when it comes to a lot of these cards helps you as well. And I think that's why icons do good on Thursdays for the most part. If it's an icon that is you know, pretty usable that a lot of people want to try out. I, I see it like baby Schweinsteiger seems to be one that does decently well most weeks for his links and for, especially with like the three, five, two stuff, people, um, value that kind of like midfield player at a left mid position based off of the position change and where they can put him in game. So, you know, just kind of look for that sort of stuff this week as well. I'm going to add that Vidic at 245. That is a very 
low start price. 255 been interesting. Some of these icons are getting low too. You'll probably see them uptick after rewards. But again, I think your buy time again is today on Wednesday as, as early as possible. There's always a little bit of sell-off as we head into 6 p.m. UK with whatever content will be coming, like where that plug was at 400K. I kind of like this one. Now, if you want to mess around with just trading on the rest of the market, you know, some of these team of group stage cards, people think that they're live. You might make a little Thursday flip investment that might be half investment, half gamble that a player does good today. I'm looking specifically at Sterling. I'm looking specifically at KDB because we saw what happened to Erling Holland last week. Holland's car was like 180,000 coins. I got to show you guys this. This is actually nuts. Last week in Champions League, when Holland went off and had his big game, his card has literally shot up since then because people think this is live and it's a rare item that it just continues to fluctuate up. This guy was 190K last week when he played. Boom, look at this now, 250,000 coins. And this card is so rare that he maintains that high price point. So this Teo Hernandez was one insane flip last week with the El Shirawi links. And of course, the brand new French center backs that are in the game with the, um, whatever that SPC guy's name, Todibo, and then the um, Fofana objective player. I like the French cards this week. You know, you could also make a point for maybe some of the golds, like Gold Mane did pretty well last week, links to Curtis Jones. You know, if Conte is not in the team of the week this week, you know, you might see a bit of a sell-off because this guy's probably getting invested in a little bit because some people think he's in Team of the Week since he's in Footman's prediction. So, you know, if you see this guy after Team of the Week today, if Conte is not in, and this guy's down to like 110K, if he drops like 10,000 coins or so, that could be a almost no-brainer buy just for a meta card like Conte who would be getting sold off, then possibly get bought back up. So maybe your meta golds you look at it a little bit, um, but I'd be sort of careful with those. And Road to the Finals, of course, those really aren't Thursday flip investments per se, unless there were some of them that have been sold off post-game, like maybe a Griezmann or a Klosterman. But we have a lot of headliner upgrades coming today too, and I want to mention that fast, is this one I think a lot of eyes are on today, Upamecano and Benzema. But this one specifically, this Upamecano guy, 440K at the moment, we saw what happened when Akanji got his plus two from an 84 to an 86. This card should also be in line for a plus two. Now, how does that impact what his card looks like? It honestly... I could see this happening two ways, right? First way is this Oop McConnell goes to an 86 today, gets his headliner streak, and boom, shoots up like 20, 30, 40,000 coins instantly, and then starts to drop off as people who have invested in this card list it. Option two is he just drops right out immediately. Even if the upgrade is insane, his card looks nuts. You know, a lot of the Bundesliga center backs are like in an upgradable position right now with Alaba, of course, going to be doing an upgrade this Friday night because of... Um, because of Bayern winning yesterday, 750K for that card. You've got Akanji who is extinct. You've got Klosterman who still, even, even after uh, Open Meccano getting upgraded and Akanji getting upgraded, uh, this card looks mental, right? This is an insane looking card still. So, you know, there's a lot of Bundesliga center backs. So I would just be careful with that Open Meccano. Again, the safe route for all these cards is selling into the hype. If you don't want to deal with it, you sell into the hype, you let it go. And you let it be and you take your profit there. So that's what I would recommend with the Ubmakano and with the Benzema specifically. Because yeah, all right, Benzema might look pretty good. Right now he's 93 rated. He'd get his street card, he'd go to a 94. He'd probably have like 82 pace. His passing might go into all the 90s. But this just, this guy just isn't meta. And of course, with the way the market is right now, I would just say take the safe route, take your coins, and take the cash in a card like this already up like 60k from where he was i think when they really was getting their third win real madrid uh this guy's just up a lot so i know it's kind of like yo do i really want to try thursday flip investing this week if you don't want to i fully understand right i fully understand i'm not saying you have to if you just want to try to trade with road to the finals which i'm going to be doing a lot of so my thursday flip investments probably going to be pretty short term wednesday night into thursday might pick a few icons might pick a few special cards out of packs just see how it goes and then be locked and loaded thursday to trade with road to the finals as the the games are going on live so that's again probably what my personal plan is going to be but i do think there will be some cards that do pretty well because again sometimes when the market is dead like this and people are thinking nah thursday flips it won't work this week because nobody's on the game that's some of the weeks when it does the best because there's nobody out looking for deals there's nobody out buying cards investing it's just a pure market rise and since there's no investors it just continues to go up and if you get in with a couple cards you can make some nice profits so not saying that's going to be the case this week 
I'm just saying it has that potential to be that way. So definitely keep a lookout for Road of the Final cards getting upgraded, some of that action today. A lot of the high tier icon moments, you're probably gonna continue to see dropping off because these guys continually get packed. Some of them have like higher pack weight than I would have imagined. Fernando Torres, this guy just keeps dropping. Uh, 5 million coins right now in an open bid, 5.2 mil. You know, some of these guys just seem to have kind of crazy supply where other ones uh, like, like have nothing. So I'm really interested to see, especially this weekend, with more moments coming out, how that looks. Even Vieira, I'm sort of surprised at how much supply he has for having no promo packs like at all released this week. Not even many SBCs. I'm a little surprised at how much supply some of those has. So rewards this week is going to be interesting to see how those icon moments are affected uh, as well. A little bit of update on my account. I have traded a little bit this week. Not too much. That bought me, I got a 400K. I sold at 440. I sold my promos today at 330. And just a little bit of a heads up. I, from what I'm hearing, promos could technically still go to Spartak Moscow which would then render this card useless and non-upgradable if he does not stay at Ajax. I know it's kind of a sticky situation. I know Ajax won last week uh, against Lille in the first leg, and the upgrade could be coming later this week. Uh, but I think the transfer window in Russia closes this weekend or something like that. We were talking about it in the stream. Uh, and if that, does, if that does happen and Promes transfers, this card would be in for a wild ride and definitely a huge drop in price because if he transfers clubs... This item is no longer live. Even if Leal, or sorry, if Ajax go on and win and move on to the next round, uh, this car would not get upgraded if he is not there. So that's kind of interesting. But also, since it's a gray area, like he's you know not playing right now because of another incident, I could see EA even if he transferred to Moscow, like still upgrading this card. So that would be kind of wild if that would happen as well. So we'll talk about all that stuff later on this week again as it gets closer with Road to the Finals, but definitely just be careful with the market right now. Bids, as we talked about yesterday, the cheeky bids, right? Those are your best friend, especially for Thursday flips this week. Try to get the best price possible because you, you kind of have to because there's not as many buyers, not as much demand. You can't, you won't get as many lazy sales. You'll get some, but not as many since there is less demand. So just kind of keep that in mind as you're attempting or maybe you're gonna say, nah, this week, Thursday flipping, not for me, but uh, not for me. But I still want to make this video just to talk about it. Be open, talk about the market, and uh, present some opportunities that I could see happening this week. If you enjoyed this video, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions, and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nathan Foot Account. Catch you guys later. Peace out. Me.